A while back, I did a video on some tips for Premiere Pro, and one of those tips was, I said, if you hover over here, if you're anywhere in your timeline here, and you use your scroll wheel, that will zoom in vertically on the clip, and that's really handy. But in version 12, which I think is Premiere Pro CC 2018, they've removed that, and they've actually added modifiers in to the scroll wheel functionality to allow you to do a little bit more. So I kind of, I guess, kind of see this as an addendum to my previous video and a little bit more as well. So now you can do exactly the same thing, but you need to hold down the Alt key at the same time. So when you hold down Alt, you can see that I can zoom in on this clip individually. So just this clip is being affected. You can, of course, still hover here. And you've got to get it pretty precise on there. And yeah, I was struggling recently with a Bluetooth mouse. I've actually gone back to a wired mouse now because I just found the Bluetooth mouse to be a pain in the pain to use. And so you can still hover and do it that way, but if you hold down Alt on the keyboard, you can adjust the clips individually like this and zoom in on them so you can see what each of those clips contains and you get the preview thumbnails within the clips then. However, there's a bit more to it than that. You can also hold down control at the same time so control and alt will give you the same functionality but finer control in a very similar way to uh, lots of other areas in premiere if you know if you're adjusting stuff up here in the position section and the scale if you hold down control you get finer control on that uh, on those uh, adjustments so the same thing here control alt and you get a fine change to those clips now the other one you can do is shift and shift does the same thing uh, apart from the fact that it actually changes the height it zooms in vertically on all the clips at the same time so they start from their relative relative to each other so they don't sort of all start from the same zoom position this one's already more zoomed in you can see it's kind of twice as zoomed in vertically as this one so if i hold down shift now and zoom in then that one starts zooming up and that one starts zooming up and that one starts, and this one's also getting more zoomed in how many times am i going to say that in this video and the same thing again you can hold down control and do control and shift and you get that nice fine control so you can set all this ex up exactly as you want it to be so while you're not using a clip you can you know quickly drop it down or something i actually find this is really useful for audio tracks more than video tracks so you can get a little bit kind of more detail on the waveform see what you're doing a bit more closely once i'm zoomed into kind of this level on a video clip normally it's okay but you can also use the scroll wheel in the timeline itself so if i'm actually on the timeline rather than in this section over here if i do a scroll i'll be i move across the timeline so i'm moving horizontally across the timeline but if i hold down alt i will zoom in to the timeline as well there are better ways i would find the z pressing z on the key uh, to, to bring up the zoom um, zoom tool and selecting the area you want to zoom into is kind of better and then just pressing v and going back it, once you get used to doing that it's quicker but you can just hold down alt and zoom in and out with the scroll wheel as well as moving across the timeline horizontally with the scroll wheel too so there we go a couple of tips and a bit of an update on using the scroll wheel within premiere pro on the timeline and on your clips thanks for watching if you liked the video please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or if you like the videos too Catch you soon. Bye.